Hi, I'm Dave Lewis, the sound archivist at BGSU's Music Library and Bill Shirk Sound Archives. I'm here to give you a quick tour of our archives so you know what's here and how to use it. Since 1967, we've been collecting recordings from many pop music genres in various formats, as well as periodicals, books, zines, and other materials that complement those recordings. The collection might be helpful if you're doing a project involving pop music, pop culture, or the record industry. Because many of these items are rare or hard to find, they cannot be checked out, but anyone can listen to them in the music library, whether or not they're a BGSU student or staff member. Our collection is built around our recordings, a small portion of which you can see behind me. We have several hundred thousand pop music recordings, including singles and albums from major labels, regional labels, and some that are self-published or bootlegs. They span nearly every major genre, from Tin Pan Alley to disco to hip-hop, and are searchable in our catalog by artist, title, or genre. Anyone can listen to these items in the library. Simply bring the call number to the music service desk or contact us in the library's chat service before coming to the third floor to listen. If portions of our pop music recordings are needed for on-campus presentations or research, please contact us to discuss other options. We also have a large collection of books, periodicals, and other printed material about pop music topics. We have a lot of popular press biographies, pop music discographies, and other magazines, including well-known titles like Rolling Stone, and niche publications like It Will Stand, about Carolina beach music, and Right On, a black teen magazine from the 1970s. In addition, we have a large collection of zines, or self-published magazines, on music topics, Many of them are related to subgenres like punk music or heavy metal, but they span nearly all music styles. We're also beginning to process some of our archival collections, which consist of rare or unique materials like photographs, scrapbooks, papers, research files, and audiovisual material, many of which relate to pop music fan communities. Finally, we have a collection of tens of thousands of pieces of sheet music from many eras that are used as often for their cover art as for the musical content. Lastly, we have our VTIC Elsnick collection, which includes business records from VTIC Elsnick, a company that published polkas and other dance music beginning in the early 1900s. The collection also includes scores for more than 3,000 polkas and other dance forms. Our holdings are vast, and we're always happy to help find material for class projects, classroom use, theses, dissertations, or other research projects. You can contact me via email on our library chat service to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation, whether you're brainstorming a new project or in the final stages of research and writing. We hope to see you here this semester.